expect me to believe some shit like that? I expect you to help. By what? By pulling the trigger. You stay back, Jordan. What? Killing them? Who do you think? Who do you think them are? Ready, sweetie. Thanks, babe. Give me just a minute, okay? Oh, um, don't forget to wash your hands. There's some sort of flu crap going around at Gabby's school. They even sent a letter to all the students' parents about it. Okay. Look, I know what kind of work you do. I've never questioned it. Mm. I can't help but worry about you sometimes, but I still and try I to really give you your space. I really appreciate that. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing, sweetie. It's just usual cop stuff, that's all. Now, you know, I don't like bringing my work home with me, so that's why I come out here. Clear my head. not good enough anymore. We haven't talked much. And you haven't even spent time with Gabby. Look, you know this job gets complicated, so just... No. I know when something's really wrong, and it is. that's doing all the murders and I've been put on investigation, so. Oh my God. All the recent murders in this area? Yeah. Wasn't it all cops that were killed? Why were you put on this investigation? It's too dangerous. Why not somebody else? Because certain evidence leaks back to our precinct. Good if it's not stopped. Whoever this is, the word insane is a joke to them. You're a cop. That makes it more dangerous. I know. And that's why I want you and Gabby to go to my sister's. I know it's another state, but whoever it is, his motive can't be that damn crazy. But I'm, I'm, I'm not asking you, Shannon. Promise me one thing. 
Whoever this is will not make you a lesser cop. More importantly, a lesser person. If they can, they will. We're your family. We need you. That's all I care about. Thank you for your time. We'll be in contact with my car if you have any questions. You're welcome. We'll call if something comes up. Hold on one second. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions as well. I promise it won't be long. Sure. Give me just a second. I need to talk to Officer Black for a moment. Sure. Thank you. Any luck? Nope. Nothing at all? Nah. Check this out. The night it happened, she was asleep. She heard the shot. So the first thing she did was go in and check on her daughter. Well, at least she said when she found the body? She said she grabbed her daughter, hid in the closet, called the police. After that, they finally showed up and told her that her brother was killed. It's not adding up. Think about it, right? Brother was a cop. Hell, he lived with her. So why didn't she just call her cell phone whenever she heard the shot? Mine's in wind like yours, man. Basically, we got nothing. The FBI is already involved, so you know what's up with that. Yeah. Nobody's trying to deal with that bullshit, okay? I'll see what I can squeeze out of her. I'll let you know if something comes up. That's cool. Look here, man. I'm about to go home, take some olive oil or something. My stomach's been crazy all day. That poor girl, she messed up when she let me use her bag. Yeah. Been a while, Brent. How you holding up? We're making it. Look, I've told the police all I know. I heard the gunshot that same night and that is it. Look, I know you're tired and irritated with this. But it's a crazy situation for all of us. I really am sorry about Steven. He was a good friend of mine. He's one of the best ones on the force. So let him rest in peace. I'm trying to. But his murder's still out there. Look, Bertha. People are being killed. And it will continue unless somebody stops it. Now I need your help. I don't have anything else to say. I heard the gunshot, and that's it. Okay, well, what'd you do after that? I called the police and checked on Kimberly. Called the police, then you checked on Kimberly. I checked on Kimberly because she was already awake when I went to her room, so I checked on her and called the police. They finally came and told me that someone had murdered my brother. Well, did you ever think of calling Steven? I did, right after, but he uh, never picked up. Hmm. Is there a problem? Not sure. Officer Black said that you got your daughter and locked yourself in the closet and then you called the police. You never said you called your brother. And your point? Well, not sharing that type of information can make you a possible suspect. You may leave now, detective. I'm only trying to get to the bottom of this. Well, do it somewhere else. Look, Brenda, I have a daughter too, okay? And the last thing that I want to do is put them in the same situation like the other cops and their families. But I have got to find this lunatic and soon. What do you want? Okay, I've told you all 
I know. I know. But if you could just let me talk to Kimberly for a couple of questions. Look, you have my word. This will be the last time that you hear from me. Now, I don't know about the other cops, but I will do my best to keep them away. Just a couple of questions, Brenda, that's all. Just a couple of questions. Sweetie, you remember me? Yes, your Uncle Steve's boy's friend. That's right. And I'm your mommy's friend, too. And hopefully, I can be your friend as well. Uh-oh, does somebody have a tummy ache? She hasn't been feeling too good the past couple days. There's been some virus thing going around her school. Well, I promise I won't be too long, okay? Did you know that your Uncle Stevie was a real good friend of mine? Yep. And every time that I would get hungry, he would buy me a big old bag of gummy bears. Nah. -uh. He did. That's how close we were. We were real buddies. He used to tell me how beautiful you were. But I didn't really agree because you snorkeled like a pig every time that you laughed. No, I didn't. I never <laughs> snorkeled. Well, I might be wrong. But if you could just answer just a couple of questions for me, I might believe you. Do you? Okay. Now, the night that your uncle Stevie had his accident, did you hear a loud noise? Yay. Yeah. Mommy heard the noise, too. She said it was probably right outside. It was... How'd you know that, sweetie? Because I saw Uncle Steve outside on the phone when I heard it. Sweetheart, did you see your Uncle Stevie have his accident? Mr. Detective Long. He's your Uncle Stevie's friend, too. But he hurt Uncle Steve. Um. Detect Mr. Detective Long? Did she tell you this? Did she? Yes. Why didn't you tell me? Brenda, did Detective Long come see you recently? What'd he say? Brenda, please. It's always quiet out here. Too quiet. When 
to take Gabby to school today. She hugged me and gave me a kiss. Said, Daddy, is a friend someone can count on in case of a bully? Hell, I almost didn't let her finish because I was about to find that little bastard. You know, I'm not a man with this whole seven heaven moment thing, but I said that she could. As long as your friend wasn't the bully. Did I hear that? Do you? What? Man, how long we been on the force together, brother? Eight years, three months, one week, four days, six hours, ten minutes, and fifty four. She, uh, when she saw me shoot Steven. Did you kill her? Well, I guess you know what's next then, huh? I know you've been used. Hell, we both have. You need help. You're sick, man. And you need to wake the fuck up. Don't make this hard, Jordan. I need more than help, man. We both do. We've been playing the puppets for a long minute. I mean, Chief had you played a golden boy. Putting you in the most dangerous situations. But see, it was just as much your fault as it is his because you never ask why. Just look at the soldier boy. Well, with me? Oh, with me? Hell, he got to love his little dreams, man. Give me the dirty shit to take care of. But see, that was my problem. I always ask why. You put your hands on your head, and you get your knees on the ground. You now we sat back and let him do this your whole fucking career. I mean, I ain't mind getting my hands dirty, but. This is what it is, man. Put your hands on your head. And you get on your knees. You know, I woke up thinking this shit was all made up or something. But that's a part of me that's glad it's not because somebody gotta do This something. is your last warning, damn it. You put your hands on your head and you get on your knees or I will shoot. Then pull the fucking trigger. If you're gonna do it, then don't fuck with me. Do it. Why are you doing this, man? Because we're already dead. All this right here is worse for the afterlife, bruh. You're not making any fucking sense. Do you hear yourself? What about little Kimberly did, huh? Our sweet little handsome face. Or Brenda, who's so fucked up in the head, she can scream for help if she tried. That wasn't Cameron or Brennan you was talking to, man. You 
anyone you talk to. I haven't been that person for the past couple of weeks. Hell. I ain't the person you think you're talking to. This doesn't make any sense. I know. I do. And that's what I'm going to tell you this one time. You can do the hell you want to that. Six months ago, I was put on the cases on the cover. I mean, it was believed that it was a doctor that was probably killing his patients with bad treatments. Stephen was on the case with me. I mean, we finally had enough evidence to bust his crazy ass. I mean, we got him. But somehow, some of the cops they got affected by some of the same shit that the doctor was putting in his patients. I guess it all started out some forensics work. Hell, I don't know. No one thought nothing of it. They didn't say nothing. It wasn't a big deal. Until some of the same men began to get sick. Starting with stomach problems and fevers. They'll eventually go missing for a few days. But during that time, whatever it was that infected them, it surfaced. That's some kind of virus or something. Taking complete control over the body and the nerves, causing unstable behavior. Let's just say the behavior get out of control. And people either die or get killed by the person infected. The cops who weren't infected, they murdered others, man. Or gave the virus to their family. Steve was the first. You expect me to believe some shit like that? you to help. By what? By pulling the trigger. You stay back, Jordan. You don't know when that affected Felix. I made sure of that, bro. trying to stop it, man. I mean, but... I try to save as many as I can. what? Killing them? Who do you think... Who do you think them are? Huh? But you killed all those people. You killed Steven. Because I'm gonna help you. 